Hey everybody, uh, this is the Bannister Bus YouTube video station. Coming to see you. It's a Saturday night. We're at the Interlochen Center for the Arts in Interlochen, Michigan. We're at the Interlochen State Park. Uh, what I want to do tonight is it's a little bit chilly, and so uh, it's fun to have a fire on the bus. So I just wanted to show you what we're doing to heat our bus. The reason we're heating our bus with the source that we are and uh, some of the advantages and disadvantages. So here we go. Um, bus is about 200 square feet and this little cubit mini stove which came from a company up in Canada is a small wood burning device that uh, basically heats this little 200 square foot bus uh, situation quite nicely. Got a little fan on the top that uh, moves the air once the stove starts uh, producing heat. This is a heat generated fan, gives you more RPMs the more heat there is. Uh, the reason we decided to go with wood heat is because in a small space like this with uh, limited and uh, somewhat sketchy insulation, we did as well as we could but there's metal in the roof and there's a lot of glass so the insulation is a little bit iffy. If you use propane, you get a lot of condensation. We don't want condensation in here, and this te this tends to be hot, <laughs> very hot, and it tends to be very dry heat. So that's good. Uh, no condensation in the bus, and this tends to keep it dry regardless of what we do. And we do a lot of cooking. Um, Sandy loves to cook. We got a little 20 inch stove here. And so um, we feel that the wood heat is a dry heat and it keeps us much more comfortable inside the bus. Uh, also over here you'll notice, and I mentioned in my long video, and what we're doing here is we're just doing follow-ups to the long video that we did because we got a really good response from a little do-it-yourself how-to on the door that we put on the bus. So, uh, once again, the reason we're doing this is just to kind of share with you, get make short videos. Uh, hopefully we can uh, pique some interest in what you'd like to see and if you can give us some comments, uh, we'll try to answer any questions you got. Uh, brick hearth. This brick hearth right here is uh, approximately two and a half feet by three feet, and it covers the entire surface underneath the uh, wood stove. And it's uh, a nice addition because it's really, really fireproof. Even though we have a small tray under, small stainless steel tray under the uh, wood stove, this uh, brick hearth is uh, basically just an insurance policy. It's also nice because if you uh, are using a cast iron skillet or if you've got stuff on the stove that you need to set somewhere, you can set it directly right here and it's uh, better than a uh, cultured marble countertop. So, thank you. It's been fun. It's chilly outside. The fire's cooking. Feels good in here. Uh, send us questions, comments whatever you want to do. YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Come see us.